I'm Katie. I'm going to sing a song and read a story. And there's sort of a theme here. The song is about wearing a mask and the book is about wearing clothes. The song is one that I learned from Kate Reynolds on Storytime Underground and you can find her at library, I'm sorry, at Lavender Librarian. Um, and it is to the tune of Alouette. And um, it's called I Love My Face Mask. face mask how I love my face mask my new face mask it helps keep us safe do you wear it on your face yes but it must be in place on my face on your face Whoa. my new face mask how I love my face mask my new face mask it helps keep us safe do you wear it on your nose yes I wear it All right, let's read a book. This is called What Riley Wore. Here's Riley, and this book is by Elena K. Arnold. It is illustrated by Linda Davick. Linda Davick does great illustrations for books for uh, toddlers and preschoolers. On Monday, Riley wore a bunny costume because it was the first day of school and Riley felt shy. It was true that no one else in class wore a bunny costume. But it was also true that a girl who was crying asked if she could touch one of the ears. Riley said, yes, the ears feel just like real velvet. On Tuesday, Riley wore a superhero cape to the dentist's office because teeth cleaning is scary and Riley wanted to be brave. The dentist asked, what's your superpower? Riley said, I'll have to get back to you about that. On Wednesday, Riley wore a ball gown out to dinner with Otto and Oma because they went to a fancy restaurant and ball gowns are the fanciest. When Riley spilled tomato soup, Oma used ginger ale to blot it out. A kid at another table said they should leave the stain just as it was because it looked like a star, and stars are cool. Thursday was universe day at school, so Riley decided that outer space jammies were the perfect thing to wear. Riley's teacher loved the jammies, and he asked Riley to stand on a chair while he pointed out the planets on Riley's back. Then everyone used scissors and glue and construction paper and made planets of their own. It rained on Friday, so Riley wore a colorful combination of rubber boots, a police officer jacket, and the world's best tutu. The crossing guard told R Riley, I had a pair of rain boots just like that when I was little. The recess captain, a big kid in the sixth grade, told Riley, I like your tutu. When the weather turned mild on Saturday, Riley dressed in a hard hat and overalls to help dad run errands. Three guys at the hardware store called Riley Daddy's Little Helper, and one of them gave Riley a sticker. Riley didn't peel it away from the backing because maybe it would make a good present for a friend someday. When they got home, Riley tucked the sticker away for safekeeping and wondered if being a friend could be a superpower. Sunday was a lazy home day. Riley spent part of it wearing nothing at all. But when mom asked who wanted to go to the park, Riley put on one striped sock and one polka dot sock. Purple jeans, the world's best tutu, a crazy monster shirt, red rubber boots, round aviator goggles, and a hat with dinosaur spikes. At the park, Riley felt shy. Then a kid from school walked up and asked, are you a girl or boy? Riley said, Today, I'm a firefighter, and a dancer, and a monster hunter, and a pilot, and a dinosaur. Oh, said the kid. Wanna play? Yes! Then Riley reached into a pocket, pulled out the sticker, and gave it to the kid. The kid smiled. And Riley felt wonderful.
like this story. And I can't wait to read a book for you next time. Bye, everybody.